Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Caillou Talks. I am your host, Caillou Ninja, and today is another episode we take a deeper dive into a subject about having an interview. That's right, there are no guests today, just me and my thoughts. And on this episode, we're going to talk about a topic that is near and dear to all of our hearts. That's right, we're talking about friendship. Friendship is one of those things that we take for granted, isn't it? We have friends from childhood, from school, from work, from our neighborhood, and in different activities we take part in, and from family even. But do we ever stop to appreciate the connections and the impact they have on us? Think about it. How many times has a friend been there for you when you needed them the most? Whether it's a shoulder to cry on, a partner in crime for some adventures, or simply someone to share a laugh with. Friends enrich our lives in countless ways. What is friendship? This is a complicated question because friendship is not something that can be described with one word. It's lots of things. It can be a connection between one person and another. Not just that. It can also be a bond between two people. Over a very long time, whether it's something that can be formed in days or something that took lots of time and dedication, friendship could also be the first step to a lasting relationship. So like last episode with the interview with Dita Esposito, He's been a very good person to me. We grew up with each other, learned it by each other, took a lot of time and dedication to get connected with each other on a very emotional level. But in time, we became very good friends. We learned lots about each other, and we discovered that we have one thing in common. Ketchup. He loves ketchup, and I love ketchup. You could say that we bonded over ketchup, and I'm not ashamed of that at all. I gave him ketchup socks. He gave me ketchup shirt, and the shirt says, I put ketchup on my ketchup. And we laughed about it. But anyway, like I was saying, friendship is lots of things that can be described in different terms. With many possible laws that cannot be broken both totally, both literally and emotionally. Having someone to lean on is a very nice feeling. So I'm sure about, so I'm sure you know that friendship is a very amazing feeling that is irreplaceable. Friendship is a special connection between two people that is formed out of many feelings. Maybe the connection is based on being comfortable with each other. Maybe it's a connection created out of one person feeling lonely or wanted someone to have friendship with. A friendship can be very simple or it can just be a very complicated balance between disagreement and peace. Having friendship is like having someone that you can trust in many situations. I have lots of friends, but... Not like a whole bunch, but I do have friends that are really special to me. Friendship is basically a connection of one person to another at a very deep level of trust and communication. But it doesn't come easy. It takes lots of effort to get to know one another and learn about that person. But it's all very much worth it. It may be a lot of hard work. It may take a lot of time and work and patience to understand that person. But trust me, it's very worth it. Getting to know that person understands somebody on that deeper level is what makes the connection so much more powerful. Friends and family are very much worth fighting for. Is it what makes life worth it? Am I right? It could be the only thing that is. What can friendship do for you? This might be a very selfish way of looking at it because you can also look at it as a point of what can I do for others? If you're thinking about what, you know, like a, what can it do for me in general, and that's what we talked about. You can get in an emotional way, but in general, it can be something like you can love to hang out with, love to be around, love to spend your time with. I have lots of friends I love to hang out with. Enjoy your time together. It makes me feel very content knowing that there's people that like me, people that accept me for who I am, flaws and all. And I love to hang out with them. And in my space, it makes me feel very good about myself. It makes me feel accomplished about life. So friendship, you can do a lot of things. It can make you feel accomplished that you worked hard enough to make yourself a friend. It can make yourself feel not alone because you have someone to be with you. It means lots of good feelings for your life. But what exactly makes a good friend? Is someone that who is always someone who says yes to your plans or someone that challenges you to be your best? I'd argue with a little bit of both. A true friend is someone who accepts you for who you are, flaws and all, like we said before. They celebrate your success and support you through your failures. 
they're there to cheer you on when you're at the top of the world and to lift you up when you're feeling down. Your friend is someone you can really trust, like we said before. And now if an acquaintance is something like you, someone who you know of, someone that you play with, someone that you hang out with, just someone that you know on a lighter level and you see sometimes. Back a couple of grades ago, I used to stick with some acquaintances as friends. But now with the help of some therapy, I now understand the difference between acquaintances and friends. And I'm very excited to share that with you. As acquaintances, I, like I said a couple minutes ago, they're just people that you know, people that you just recognize sometimes. But a friend is someone you like to hang out with. Someone you would like to lean on to. Someone you like to trust your most personal secrets. And like we said before. So be sure to know the difference and make a good friend or two. And never mistake the difference between a friend and an acquaintance. Or else you'll make some pretty big mistakes of your life. Like I did sometimes. But friendship isn't just about what we get from others. It's also about what we give in return. It's about being there for our friends when they need us. Lending an ear, help, offering a helping hand, or simply reminding them that they're not alone, like I said. Friendship is a connection. Communication and trust. Those are the free foundations of a great friendship. And I know you're wondering, people, and you're probably asking yourself, what does friendship do any good for me having someone to hang out with? Friendships can help you express your feelings to a friend. It can help you when you're feeling very sad. They can support you when you're feeling stressed. They feel like they're the only person that trusts you. They make you feel accepted and welcome for who you are. To me, friends help me see that I am a very good person. When I didn't have friends, I was a mess, honestly. But now I have friends, so I can trust them. I can count on them. And they made me feel very meaningful in my life. The only thing that felt meaningful was that. The impact that friendship does on your mental health is because you could have someone to express your feelings, emotional problems, really and emotionally honest. That's the one of the many reasons why friendships are needed. Now, I know what you're thinking now. How can I define a good friend? I'm going to tell you how you can define a very good friend. You see, your friend is someone that is loving, someone that is kind, someone that accepts you for who you are, someone that listens to your problems, someone that helps you when you, when you have all they got, with all their power, someone that supports you with all their power that they have, someone that has your back in the most darkest times. Someone that you can lean on to. Someone that is your shoulder to cry on. Someone that is your rock. Sometimes that is your foundation to crumble on. They seem like family, a family member you never had. A sibling you never had. I found my true friend. It made me feel like I had a sibling I never had in my life. And I feel like it made me feel very appreciative. So how do you define a good friend? It's someone that you can feel like you can trust. Someone that feels like you can rely on is your heart that can tell you how you can define a good friend. Now let's talk about the different types of friends we encounter in our lives. There are childhood friends. These friends have seen us through a very awkward phase and milestone. And no matter how, many, how much time passes, they'll always hold a special place in our hearts. Friends are the ones that we spend countless of hours with the trenches of our daily grind. Middle school, am I right? These are the friends who understand the unique challenges and traps for our professional lives. Who can we complain about school when we were at lunch and celebrate with our hard-earned victory? Of course, we can't forget about the friends that we make through shared interests and hobbies, whatever it's love of books, music, sports, and anything in between and everything outside. These friends provide us with a sense of belonging and brotherhood. That's hard to find anywhere else, honestly. But perhaps the most underrated type of friend is the one that we least expect. A stranger who becomes a friend. You know the ones I'm talking about. The person you strike up a conversation with a line at the grocery store or bond over a shared experience. These chances encount these chance encounters can lead to some of the most meaningful connections of all. Reminding us that friendship knows no boundaries. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
Now, how do you recognize a good friend? How do you recognize a good friend or even see one? That's an easy question. Like I said, friendship is a special connection bond. And from one person to another. And like I said before, a good friend is someone that supports you no matter what. And that's a bond that cannot be easily broken. In the bond that is so common and comfortable, it's basically second nature to humanity. Everyone has their own different bond as a friend, which is because they have the same or different things because them or because you like each each other very deeply or because you support each other in a very emotional way. So you can easily recognize a good friend when you have a bond with between two people. And there's nothing that can stop you from recognizing that you can find a good friend and I can find a good friend. Believe me, I should know. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the friendship isn't always smooth sailing. Just like any other relationship, it requires effort, understanding, and sometimes a willingness to forgive and forget. There will be disagreements, misunderstandings, and moments of doubt. But if both parties are willing to work work it out, the rewards far outweigh the challenges. Now finally, I'm going to tell you what makes your friendship stronger by communicating with your friend and listening to what they like, doing things with them, and just spending time together. You can bond with each other. Perhaps that's the most important thing. Time together equals a greater connection. So as we wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with this thought. Take a moment to appreciate the friends in your life, old and new. Reach out to someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Or simply take the time to say thank you for those who have been there for you through thick and thin. Because in the end, friendship is the one of life's greatest treasures. And it's up to us to cherish and nurture in every chance we get. Thank you for tuning in, dear listeners. Until next time, remember to be kind, be curious, and above all, be a friend. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in to the Caillou Talks website so you can get yourself some Caillou Talks merch. I love the mugs. Until next time, see you next episode.